Hey everyone, this is Steve here. How y'all doing? Great. I'm here with another video because this is going to be another video game update for July 2014. Made a stop to a flea market, a few flea markets actually today, and I got myself some games once again. Um, for the record, um, they are five Sega Genesis games, three of them that are in the box, two of them that do not have a um, the box with it, and one is a Nintendo game. So I figure I'll start with the Nintendo game first. First I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and yes, I know I already have this and I've done a gameplay of this already, but I figure I get one it's in good condition, you know, it's not all messed up. As you can see, the way that is designed, unlike the other one that I have, which is in bad condition, it has coloring on the top from me, unfortunately. Yep, and that's the first one I got. I got this along with some other games as well. That's one of them. The next one I got is this one. It's a Sega classic, as it says, and it is Tony La Tommy Lasorda Baseball. Excuse me, not Tony LaRusso, because he made a baseball game too as well for Sega Genesis. And this is a pretty good game. Uh, I know I played it before, but it's been a while. Yeah. And I'll show you the uh, game as well. Uh-huh. Very good manager for the Dodgers back in the day he was. Legend. And I also got... Uh, to show this one. A very good and classic game. Miss Pac-Man. Now really, you can't go wrong with Miss Pac-Man. You know, it was uh, back in the day when they made these and they were fun to play. 36 wild and crazy mazes for more fun than ever. Ever. Yeah, I never really did have Pac-Man in my collection, but I do now. And there's a game and a booklet as well, instructions. Okay, that's it for that. And next one I got that is in the case is... Now, I know I was very disappointed I didn't have this in my collection. But I'm glad I, that I do now because nobody will get on me anymore that I don't have it. And that is Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh-huh. And I'm sorry that I never had this in my collection before. I just never gotten it as you see the way the game is and you can't go wrong with Sonic as you know <clears throat> can't get it open all right here's a little booklet which also has a little thing to say a CD on the back uh-huh and there is the game as well yep true classic Sega Genesis game as everybody knows make sure I didn't uh, mess up the uh, instructions or anything Yep, it's fun. Okay, let me just put that back. And the last one that I got along with these games, the uh, um, the four that I showed you, the other one I got is Mortal Kombat 2. Because Mortal Kombat is pretty popular, as everybody knows. And the second one was pretty popular for Sega and the Super Nintendo, as everybody knows. Yep. And that's also what I got. And the total for all of these games here that I got was $40. Yeah, because Pac-Man's pretty good, and so is Sonic. And, of course, um, a few others as well. And the Ninja Turtles game, which is very popular, too. So that was $40 for all of them. And finally, I also got another game without the case, and it is Mortal Kombat. The first Mortal Kombat. I don't have the third one. I have Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but now I have... One and two to go along with it. Now, don't, um, you may not believe me or anything like this, but don't get me wrong. This is definitely how much I paid for this. One dollar. I really did. I got it at a flea market and the guy gave it to me and he said, and he said, one dollar. I mean, I know that's a very cheap price and all that, but still, he just wanted to get rid of it, I guess, and that is what I got. I got this one and the second one long to go with it, so I hope you all enjoyed this. Yep. That's all the uh, new games that I got, so I hope you all enjoyed these games. So that'll do it, so you all take care, and I will see you all with more videos.